A local super PAC in Kentucky has become the target of an investigation into a secret recording made at Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's campaign headquarters in Louisville. McConnell says his office was bugged, comparing it to Watergate. His team was recorded as they discussed the best ways to sink a possible run by Ashley Judd, including questioning her mental health and her views on religion. Well, the group is now suspected, the, that local group now suspected of being behind the recordings. Here to help us weed through this a little bit more is Howard Feynman. He's the editorial director of the Huffington Post. And you know Kentucky politics quite well, I we do. should point out. So the FBI is now investigating the taping right. of this conversation. Was it recorded illegally? Well, that's an open question. Uh, the, the, the guy who I think did it uh, was, was outside the closed lock room where Mitch McConnell and his aides were discussing the campaign. But this person could hear what was going on mm -hmm. and taped it either with an, a, a smartphone or some device. And it's uh, in Kentucky law and federal law, it's possibly illegal, but that's, that's open to question because the person recording it could also hear it. So that's one of the things they're looking at. There are right. two men suspected of involvement here, we should right. point out. Both of them who are associated with this liberal Kentucky super PAC. Yeah. Uh, one of them, we actually haven't been able to reach despite our best efforts. The other one, Sean Riley, his attorney says he was in the building. He didn't record it. Uh, there's a watchdog group, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, that wants the FBI and the Senate Ethics Committee, though, to investigate Senator Mitch McConnell over some of the comments that were made and everything else that happened. Let's be honest, though, politics is never pretty. So what's going on on that end? Well, first of all, to call this a super PAC is an overstatement. Okay. These are two guys running around in Kentucky. What you need to know about Kentucky is that Mitch McConnell is a five-term senator, but he's never been that popular. He has a 36% approval rating in the state. But the Democrats in Kentucky can't agree on someone to run against McConnell. And nature abhors a vacuum, and so does politics, and into the vacuum goes this super PAC, which is only a couple of guys running around trying to make mischief. So that's sort of what's going on in the state. And, and, um, and, and the question is whether they can get together anything to run against McConnell in this race. And so, and so you're saying that's the real issue here is the fact that McConnell is vulnerable. Yes. There really isn't anybody to run against and, him. Right. And, and legally, what, the, what, what Crew is saying is that the, the people behind those closed doors were active staffers on the Senate. Right. And they shouldn't have been using their Senate time to discuss a campaign Because race. Even, as, even as a Senate staffer, you are allowed to volunteer you are for allowed a campaign, to volunteer. you shouldn't be doing it on. The question is whether you're doing it on right. government time or not. Again, it's picky and stuff. But the key thing is, here's one of the most important Republicans, one of the most powerful Republicans, and one of the most vulnerable Republicans. But Democrats in the state can't find anybody to run against him because he's a very tough customer. But he's actually managed to turn himself into a victim because of the shenanigans of what's going on in the state. And it's only the beginning of us talking about it. And I, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us <laughs> this morning. You. Thank you.